Following the color purple and proving that Spielberg had the chops to make historical dramas, 1987 brings us Empire of the Sun. One of Spielberg's favorite films is Lawrence of Arabia, a wartime epic with gorgeous desert photography. This seems to be Empire of the Sun's biggest inspiration. In fact, the director of Lawrence of Arabia, David Lean, was originally going to direct this. But instead of the subject being an adult, it's an 11-year-old boy played by Christian Bale. But the movie is kind of a perfect Spielberg mixing bowl. The main character is a kid, World War II, and it's heavily influenced by one of his favorite childhood filmmakers. Man, almost got a complete Spielberg bingo. The film follows Jamie, a spoiled British boy stationed in China during World War II. When Japan invades, he's separated from his family and forced to make it on his own through an odyssey of war. He meets other people trying to survive, oddly enough mostly Americans, and is eventually sent to live in an internment camp. Making a movie with a lead child actor is always a gamble, especially with an unknown. But luckily enough, Christian Bale gives a terrific performance for one so young, and to carry a two hour plus film, and he's in every scene. And for such a lengthy war epic, Spielberg actually keeps the schmaltz turned down quite a bit. Things get very dark for Jamie, and it does a good job of showing the realities of being alone in a scary and violent world. But after over two hours of this, with very few moments of levity, the film becomes a bit monotonous. If the movie lacks anything major, it's focus. And by the end, you're not exactly sure what to take away from it. Other than it's terrible that any child should have to grow up this way. I'm sure that's the only point the film is really trying to make, but it probably could have done it in a bit more effective way in a shorter running time. A lot of people that Jamie meets along the way don't really stick out too clearly in my mind. The only one that seems to be really memorable is the character played by John Malkovich, but that relationship doesn't even seem to go anywhere. I don't know, maybe that was the point. I would recommend the film for Spielberg fans, as there are many nice moments that really highlight his talents as a director. There's a sequence where Christian Bale goes back to his house after being separated from his family, and just showing the passage of time of him alone and not sure what to do is very interesting. Also, if you just can't get enough of World War II movies, or if this angle of the war interests you, you should find a lot to like about it. But it's not difficult to see why it's sort of a forgotten Spielberg film. And though it made its budget back, it was still considered a disappointment for a Spielberg film in 1987. For what it is, it's a decent film, with a very strong performance from Christian Bale. But for Spielberg himself, his stronger war films were yet to come.